CI is so important because today's competitors are smart, they move fast, they are from places where businesses are not familiar with. And so in order not to be surprised, in order to be able to capture opportunities, it is critical that they utilize competitive intelligence uh, to make the most of their business opportunities, to mitigate as many threats as possible. And again, because you've got so many smart competitors, because you've got markets that are changing, customers that have changing needs all the time, uh, CI can take into account all of those things and better enable your company to be successful in the global marketplace. A, a, a good CI analyst has to have skills that are uh, somewhat unique to them. They have to be very uh, quantitative in their thinking. They have to be able to be logical and rigorous. They have to be persistent. They have to not give up when they have difficult uh, questions that are posed to them. They have to have creativity. They have to be able to figure out new ways of solving difficult and sometimes enduring questions. Uh, they have to have a good sense of the science of being an analyst, uh, as well as the craft or trade of doing analytical work. Uh, it, it's ever-changing. It's, uh, it's always getting more uh, sophisticated to be an effective analyst. You know, the biggest and best thing it can do is to have programs at its universities that can help train the next generation of analysts. Um, there's a growing base of knowledge in this field that needs to be communicated and, and then transmitted uh, to people who can actually apply it, that can execute the competitive intelligence capabilities within their organizations. So programs like the one that has begun here, uh, I think are critical in helping Spain uh, increase its ability to uh, exploit the advantages that come from being effective at competitive intelligence. And once you have more people that are able to do it, working for more Spanish companies, you will see an improvement in their competitiveness globally. Uh, that's good for everybody here in this country, as well as good for the markets and the economy and consumers globally as well. Um, fortunately, I get to teach a module in this, and I'm doing some uh, work uh, over the next few days, as a matter of fact, on uh, economic and competitive analysis. I'll be teaching our students how to do a variety of uh, essential methods. They'll be learning some new techniques as well as some large frameworks to help them organize all of these different tools that, uh, that I'll be exposing them to. A <laughs> um, lot of things. Uh, it, you know, it, it, it's what we would call in the analysis field the, the steep components. Things like uh, social interactions today are taking place in ways that we've never seen them historically. Uh, technology is changing rapidly. The, the ability for people to communicate via uh, global and interactive networks in ways that they've never been able to do happens 24 hours a day. Um, the level of knowledge that is able to be communicated and transmitted and, and, and generated um, is greater than it's ever been in, in, in society's history. So for all of these reasons, you see greater complexity. Um, you see a need for increased sophistication to be able to deal with all of these emerging trends and developments. And that's what CI really does help people do, is to help them better prepare for and shape their future.